Hello and welcome to the trading show. We'll be analyzing large cap stocks today. Stay All right, there you are. So yes, uh, we have Amazon. Amazon is going to be the first sticker to uh, to talk about. Um, what I see here is we have a trend right here, and uh, Amazon is pretty much holding this uh, trend. And uh, it did push through the trend due to the uh, earnings report. Um, I think um, investors were kind of like uh, worried about Jeff Bezos stepping down or leaving as the CEO. Also, um, uh, pretty much, uh, it stock did pull back down to retest the trend, and now I think we have a steam coming out. Um, volume is decent. I like the volume on. Uh, this uh, Amazon right there, I like the volume, and uh, MACD is also pretty decent. Another thing to look at is the ROSI, Relative Strength Index. Uh, it's around uh, 58 or 59 percent uh, right now. So I expect this stock to uh, continue in this coming week as well. So. Um, it held support really good. It held support nicely around here. So um, I think uh, We will push through push through to about uh, 3500 in coming uh, days, maybe not uh, this coming week, but uh, It's gonna push through uh, Next stock we're gonna be looking at is gonna be Facebook um, Facebook uh, is actually having a hard time going through the uh, uh, um, EMA uh, EMA right now is acting as resistance so if we can cross this uh, 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 9 13 and uh, uh, 9 13 EMA and we should be able to get through to the uh, 50 EMA uh, the 50 EMA is the ultimate goal which is around the 270 271 area right here so if we can push through this I think uh, uh, Facebook will uh, go and try to test the trend which is around the 280 285 area so um, I will say keep this on your radar I do like uh, Facebook for continuation higher once we get past the 50 moving average uh, the next stock that we're gonna be looking at here is gonna be Apple Apple um, is holding the 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 the, the, the hop trend pretty well and i do like it i do like the fact that it is hoping holding the uh the trend well so um i'm looking for it to actually uh, uh test this top of the channel right here so um we did close fairly let, let me say we closed well um right now we just need to reclaim the 9 EMA uh, SMA pretty much and uh, we should get back to 145 uh, my possible um, a target on um, Apple is gonna be 145 and then we move higher uh, for long for for the long-term portfolio and long-term hold I think uh, um, Apple looks good to uh, hold for or long term so uh, just keep that on your radar I love Apple all right um, next one we're gonna be talking about is gonna be our uh, Google uh, Google uh, did quite well on their report so um, Google broke out so uh, right now Google just need to consolidate a little bit around here and we're gonna see uh, higher highs on it around like the 2100 we're gonna see 2100 and uh, uh, furthermore so uh, keep an eye on Google I like uh, uh, Google a lot so um, next one is going to be let's go into say Baidu uh, Baidu um, I like the stock here it did it, it held the, the 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 20 SMA nicely okay if you look at it from here all the way we never touched the the 20 SMA at all we've just been holding the uh, 
the nine SMA all true all true they were broke down come back down to test the 20 so um, right now we're going higher we're going higher we did break that trend right there so I think uh, overall target on Baidu is gonna be 280 to 90 dollars because uh, if you look at this area right here we are not uh, uh, say uh, not too over over, over but uh, I think we'll, we'll push higher because there's decent amount of volume coming in on Baidu um, next stock we're gonna be looking at is gonna be zoom zoom i called zoom last week and uh, on my report i did say um we going we're going to break out this level and yes we did break out this level um after all this consolidation around this channel here the 50 moving average were able to break out on uh friday so um my target was 420 and we got to 420 so uh the next target i'm looking for on uh zoom is going to be uh 424 that's gonna be the next target around here so it's gonna be 424 and then i think uh if we you know get more buying coming through because see the volume is actually increasing right here this is increased volume so i think we're gonna see close to 450 in the long run so my overall target on zoom is gonna be 450 okay uh next one is going to be shui chwi I, I do like shui a lot um right now we are actually holding this level right here so um we held the support which is our moving averages so now we are actually breaking out overall target first target is going to be 115 and then we're going to see 120 so um that will be on my uh, uh, uh um watch list as well but in the terms of uh, going calls options i'm going to be looking at the 115 uh call options that will expire the next you know uh, uh, a month or so so uh keep that on your radar uh, next one is going to be dkng dkng um i i i have a position in this so uh one thing i like about dkng is the uptrend right here we just you know just playing around the uh a uh, uh, 9 13 20 uh moving averages and all of a sudden we just broke out so uh, my ultimate target is to get through this resistance which is the $64 area and then we should be seeing $70 on DKNG DKNG $70 okay another one that follows DKNG is called pen all these are gambling stocks so uh, all right so this one has had quite a run from uh this area right here to you know 128.91 so we closed 128.91 so um i think we still we're still gonna we're gonna pop on monday so keep an eye on this it's still holding pretty good uh we broke out the uh, channel so i think uh overall target for me on uh pen is 130 130 that's gonna be overall target and next one is gonna be shop shopify um this one um I, right here this is what i'll be looking at um, if we can um actually break out this we're gonna probably see around 1300 on uh shopify so uh keep an eye on it i will be playing call options on this because the price is too high um it's just too high next one is going to be acm acm is another stock i'll be watching on monday right here we are actually breaking out the trend so uh keep an eye on this keep an eye on this one uh you have pretty stable support around the moving averages so uh 
I say overall target on this is gonna be sixty dollars in the long 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 term so uh, keep an eye on it it's not oversold yet it's not overbought yet so um, it looks pretty decent another one we're gonna look at is uh, FUBU FUBU is good um, what I'm looking at this let's see let's see let's see that okay FUBU looks really good um, you just need to hold this level uh, with your support right here around the 40 seven dollars so for the for the seven dollars your support with uh, uh potential move to um, all-time eyes i like this stock i really do like this stock so uh keep an eye on it uh next one is gonna be pll uh pll i've had this stock since it was around the uh eight dollar area because um, I saw the trend. That's what one one thing I look at as well. Whenever I'm trading, look at the trend break. We broke out of this trend. So after the breakout of this trend, that's when I said, um, you know, let me go in. So I got in in this trade, and boom, we just pulled back. I took some of my position out around uh, 53, I think. I took my position out around 53 and then we pulled back down at the open and I was like no I don't know if I'm gonna get in again I mean like to add so um, ever since then I've been holding because we did break the uh, 20 we did break the 20 around here and then guess what happened we came back to test the 50 ever since then we've been holding the 50 all along so um i'm still riding my uh half size on this uh stock so i'm waiting to see if we can test the the, the 20 moving averages again if we can test the 20 moving average then i can add more to my position for the move higher overall target on this stock is going to be 70 dollars a long run actually so uh, I'm holding it in my long-term portfolio um, One of these days we're gonna uh, talk more on long-term portfolio Nvidia Nvidia is another stock that has been consolidation the, the, the consolidation has been too 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 long um, I also heard that uh, the longer the consolidation or the 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 the, 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 the bigger the base or uh, 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 the larger the base the bigger the move so um i will be um looking at picking up some calls maybe 550 calls or 560 calls whichever that is and uh i'll be able to ride this one for a long term so um i love it i really do love it uh you, you, we are actually resting around the support here so um it looks pretty good in my opinion to uh to keep an eye on so i'm gonna have that in there uh, next one is going to be um, BA. BA is uh, Boeing. So um, look at the trend. The trend is pretty much holding up well right here. So um, we pushed through the trend and we got rejected at the 50 moving average. And then we're pulling back down. Our support is going to be right here this is going to be our support at the 20 so um this is also good to uh to hold in case you're already in this uh trade but uh i do like it at this point i have my i still have my 205 and 210 calls on it so um i still have time on it so uh, i'll be keeping that and uh see what it does if we can break this to 1477 area i think uh, we should be able to test the 230 240 um area right around here so uh keep an eye on this uh boeing next stock is going to be uh neo okay neo is gonna be the next stock look at neo neo has been uh it's been holding up well right here been holding up really good um we just need to reclaim the 20 once we reclaim the 20 moving average and uh, i think we should be able to test 70 dollars on uh neo next stock is gonna be tesla tesla um i do like tesla um 
I do like Tesla. I've been trading Tesla for quite a while now, and uh, I just I just love the name. Um, the thing about Tesla right now, we have a channel. We just need to break up or break down. Uh, but uh, I think uh, with the momentum in this stock, and uh, this stock is not over bought yet or you know oversold is just perfect so i'm expecting this stock in the coming days to be around 900 dollars stock so uh keep an eye on it i do like this stock um i have my 900 a thousand and i think uh 1150 uh call options and also on the downside um, i'm also edged on the downside as well on tesla okay um the last one i'll be looking at is uh peloton or pto all right pto i do like peloton uh they came up they came with a uh, pretty decent uh, uh 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 quarter in terms of earnings report it was pretty good so um i think uh the idea for this is going to be the 50 moving average so if we can hold this 50 moving average of which we are holding right now and break above the 20 moving average i think uh we should be able to push higher to uh, uh um, 180 dollars so my ultimate long-term target on uh, peloton is going to be 180 as soon as we get uh, more momentum look at the volume volume is pretty good we have increased volume so um, I'll be looking at Peloton this coming Monday to see what call options I will be uh, uh, buying because once we move above or crosses the 20 moving average I think uh, we're going to have a run on uh, Peloton so I just want to say uh, thank you all for uh, for listening for watching and uh, thank you all for being here with me and uh hope to bring uh beautiful nice and entertaining content like this to you um i've been trading mostly uh putting my ideas there on twitter and uh, i think uh, people love it and i also love it myself where i share my ideas and what i'm looking at what i'm looking for uh what the potential target is going to be uh with uh, defined uh risk management as well so um i just want to say thank you all for being here and thank you all for listening have a good day and let's go out there and make some money